Dun -dun 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 -dun. Intro song. Oh my God, we're here. We Where are we? Are we, we in some kind it. of future realm? No, we're in a retro realm, Jacob. Oh my God, there goes Mario running across the screen. How is he doing that? Mario. Mario, stop that! Get away from me! Stop that! Now we gotta Mar pay. A, now we gotta pay an animator to do that. <laughs> Hemorrhaging money as it is. God save. Yeah, that's just how it is, Jacob. It's called well, running a business. That's right. And Mario is running. It's like I was just watching in Parks and Rec when Tom Haverford is running Entertainment 720 and they go bankrupt because they're like giving away iPads oh, yeah. for free and they pay their receptionist a hundred grand a year to sleep um, in the background. And he's like, I don't know what we did wrong. They always say you got to spend money to make money. And we spent so much money. <laughs> what could we have done differently? Well, no, they have, they have seven receptionists all just hanging out. They get a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, that's a good show. But that's you know what's a better show? show? Better Call Saul. It's the Lag Quiz oh. Show. Yeah, not Better. I love Better Call Saul though. Yeah, it's the Lag Quiz Show. What? What is this? This thing. Well, I pitched it as it's gaming mastermind, but it turns out Americans don't have culture and don't have mastermind. So basically, <laughs> it's Stevens versus Stevens. Whoa! Oh. oh. Hey, what it's are the categories? Stevens. So, you both chosen a specialist subject, so you'll each get 10 questions on your specialist subject, and then 10 questions on, like, general knowledge, general gaming knowledge, and we'll find out who's the superior brother, and the less superior brother gets fired. So, there you go. <laughs> Those are the stakes. That's what's happening. Well, we're in trouble. Jacob and I are both, like not great at gaming trivia <clears throat> so i did get invited to mesa once though so then immediately to asked to leave when i misunderstood that, do you mean uh, mensa a, well that's the thing <laughs> i i misread it it turns out i got a coupon to macy's not not mensa <laughs> you get the, I got a the cool macy's shirt. coupon you're like oh my god i've been I, accepted <laughs> i'm a genius <laughs> I never knew it. I'm a genius. So you let, want... let the record show Luke was too scared to go first. <laughs> let the record show. Yeah, we'll go first for a specialist subject. And if this were Mastermind, you would like walk into a massive leather chair and there'd be spotlights on you and it'd be like... Dun, 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 dun. It'd be very dramatic. And then I'm there. I'm in the chair. And I would be like, what's your name? My name is Jake Gubb. <laughs> <laughs> Joel. Joel, <laughs> you you about that. screwed up your own name <laughs> my name is jake hey, it's yeah. stressful it's all about he's got to answer the questions you got to do the questions you got to answer the questions it's a lot first question first I, forgot, I forgot even what i chose as my theme you've forgotten your specialist subject yeah well Would i'm you a like moron, me to tell you your no 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 subject. i'm sure the, the question will reveal I've, it. yeah i would guess he'll figure it out pretty quick <laughs> <laughs> okay jacob question one who voices the man leaving voicemails to the player oh i chose five nights of praise <laughs> yeah you did <laughs> okay uh, well, that's a loaded question. In the original games, oh it was God. all Scott Cawthon, the game creator. Uh, yeah, but when... and this is FNAF 1. This is all FNAF 1. Is it just oh. FNAF 1? Okay, then yeah, it's Scott Cawthon. Final okay. answer. Correct. Wow. <laughs> I'm screwed. Exactly. Jacob had his entire channel dedicated to FNAF for a good long while. Like four, yeah. uh, over a hundred videos that are logged away of little high school me. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he's an expert, so I might be screwed. Yeah. Somebody Jacob. just dropped something upstairs. Who was the first person to beat the game's hardest difficulty, 420 mode? Oh, for the first game? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I don't remember mm -hmm. who beat it first. Um... 
Oh, uh, I don't think it was Markiplier. Whoa. I'm going to go with... No, you know what? I am going to go with Markiplier. Final answer. Incorrect. Damn it. Ooh. Who was it? It was Big Bokes. Nope. All right, well... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Well, that's uh okay. all right <laughs> good <laughs> what is the title of the previous scott cawthorne game that inspired fnaf after critics said the characters looked like animatronics oh something something mill with the beavers uh oh god well i know there was the desolate hope that was the one he did like two games before it, but something mill company. Can I get partial credit for something mill company? Whatever he played as like a beaver. I'll give you a half point. Okay. I'll give you a half point because it's a chipper and sons lumber company. Chipper. Okay. I mean, the fact that you knew it was a company, you know, it had beavers in it. I'm like, I'll give you that. I played it. I'll yeah. <laughs> there we go. What year is FNAF 1 believed to take place? Uh, 1998, I think. I'm, oh. Or was it 19? Oh, no. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Hey, I didn't buy you from doing research. You could have done all the research you wanted. That's he, did, true. he forgot what the category was until five yeah. minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm trying to remember what that paycheck said. Because the second mm -hmm. game is 1987. I know that. Because of the, you know, mm. the Markiplier video. Mm -hmm. uh, 1990. I know it's in the 1990s. Shoot. <laughs> I'm going with, I'm going to go with 1991. You sure about that? Yeah, that's what I'm going with. 1993. Oh, oh, that was, I mean, you that, were close. Was, that was close. Yeah, yeah. Kimmy's like, yeah, FNAF. yeah, not close enough. No <laughs> point. FNAF is built on which game engine, Jacob? Oh, uh, something ancient. <laughs> something point yeah. and click studio. Uh, it's like, <clears throat> I don't remember the name of it. Uh, he used it for like most of those games. Mm -hmm. Uh, are what the hell is it called? I tried to program in it once. I'm gonna go with uh, just I've could click studios. I don't remember if that's the name. I swear to God, <laughs> it's some. It's not. It's Click Team Fusion two point five. Uh, but I'll get. I want to give you a half point because otherwise, yeah, it's literally no just a it's close. It, it was yeah. close. Yeah. It was close enough. <clears throat> Jacob, how many cameras are there in FNAF One? Oh. Sh oh, okay. Let's walk through this. There's the stage. <laughs> there's I see the, the numbers popping up like Beautiful yeah. Mind. <laughs> yeah. There's the uh, people start punching them in the air like Raid Man. <laughs> there's the stage. There's the dining room area. There's parts and services. Uh, there's the Fox Cove thing, Pirates Cove. Top hallway, bottom hallway on the left side. So that's six. And then the other side, top bottom. The hallways so two more the kitchen and that outside room ten you sure well, let me count one more time <laughs> top room that room that one pirate's cove top bottom top bottom kitchen top yeah 10 11 oh which one am i forgetting i don't know i read this quiz ages ago but it's oh, 11. Uh -oh. well now i gotta look it up to see which one i was forgetting that's gonna bother me fnaf did one. you count the broken camera yeah that's the kitchen yeah <clears throat> 
Are they counting the actual like office as a camera? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the oh, this oh. Wait, there's the closet. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's the closet. I forgot about the closet. Dang it. Ooh. I forgot Ooh. there was a closet. Noob. What a shame. New mistake. <laughs> I would have been like everyone, oh, four. <laughs> everyone buy your noob mistake t-shirts on redbubble.com. You and Redbubble, I swear to God. I hate Redbubble. Unless I we see. partner with Redbubble. Then stop in which case, promoting them. Yeah, they're yeah. terrible. <laughs> if I wanted to hear a honking sound in the game, what would you press? You'd press Freddy's nose on the poster in the office. He's only gone and got one right. Yeah, oh. he did. Yeah, he I did. remember that one. Uh, what is the name of the playable character? Uh, it's like, uh, oh shoot, in the first game? In the first game. Who's the playable character? It's Mike Smith. Biggie Smalls? I think oh. Mike Smith. It's Mike Where's Schmidt. It? Mike Schmidt, okay. So I'll give you I'll give you another half point. I'll take the half point. Data, uh, the you one thing you'll learn about FNAF lore is there isn't actually any lore in FNAF. It's just what Matt Pat makes up. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure that just gets put into the game. <laughs> I, I do think so. For a good number of years, I really think Scott was listening to the theories and then tweaking stuff to keep him on his toes. But like Yeah. I, I agree. I think that's what it was for a long time. Hey, it's long, good, it's good time. fun. It's like a little puzzle. <laughs> That's constantly changing. That's constantly, yeah. You never have all the pieces, but you're always looking for them. Yeah. Who left? Okay. Jacob, how much did Scott raise for the game through Kickstarter? Um, I don't think a lot. Um, because I, I remember, I think it was, I think there was a demo on Game Jolt. In like 2014, when I was a tiny, tiny boy, uh, I'm gonna say eight thousand dollars. Hmm. Hmm. Scott Cawthorn raised a grand total of zero dollars. Oh, Ooh. there you go. I know he was gonna mm. quit. Like he almost gave up. Yeah, he's a whiny yeah. baby. That one. I'm just kidding. He's a. <laughs> he's a... <laughs> Final question. What year was the game released? 2014. <laughs> Cha ching Yeah! I've okay. a total of 10. You got four and a half. I'll How take it. That? You'll take I'm it. fine with it. I couldn't That's remember not... if he tried to kickstart it or not. But then it, like, I had a memory. It was like, maybe? Because he has like 20 kids or something ridiculous like that. Well, well, did he try? I, I Maybe I misheard it. Did he actually try to kickstart it? Or did he not try? Yeah, he tried. I, yeah, he I don't okay. have vague memories. I, of him not I, wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was like a trick question. How much money did he raise? He didn't try to raise any. I wasn't oh, sure. Oh, he tried it. He definitely we tried. Go on it. It. <clears throat> um, brief interlude while I move my cat because she is disrupting it. <laughs> oh, well, Luke, you got to beat you got to beat four and a half before we get to this uh, general knowledge section. Ooh, yes. So you know, and your your game, there's a very good chance I'm gonna know most of your game's questions too. So I will be making fun of you constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you well, remember what your uh, special? Well, is? Jake. So Jacob and I were arguing over who should get what game category. I remember that. Um, we were initially arguing over the Batman Arkham series. And then Jacob was like, I also know FNAF. And I was like, I know Uncharted uh, the games decently well because we just went through them. So I don't remember wh which one I settled on, but it's either Arkham or Uncharted. And if it's neither, I'm screwed. <laughs> Look how you guys picked these and you still don't remember. It's because we were arguing yeah. over them. <laughs> And I don't remember what we agreed on. So <laughs> I, you agreed on Arkham City. Arkham okay. City specifically. Okay. Okay. We it's been a minute a since I played that, but it was the first game I ever got 100% on. So 
Night it's been a while, Shadow. but at one time I knew this game very well. See how much memory you've stored. In Arkham Probably City, what's the Joker's last words? Um, let's see. So, spoilers, spoilers. Yeah. Um, Hello, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he has last Wait, words. Uh, I'm assuming. Uh, so he's he's dying, and I know. then he's like something, yeah. something. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> and then he dies. Um, but what was the exact phrase? That actually was pretty I mean, funny. If, if you get it really close, like I'm still gonna give it to you. I don't know, it was something like that was actually pretty funny. I don't remember what the lead up to it was. Um and then he giggles and mm -hmm. dies. Much final answer? Yeah. I don't remember specifics. Correct. He says, that actually is pretty funny. Okay, okay, yeah. So it wasn't, I didn't need to go too specific, okay. No, that's fine. How many Riddler trophies are there to collect? I'm including both Batman and Catwoman Riddler trophies. Both Batman and Catwoman. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. I think I know uh -huh. this one, too. I was about to mime it to you, but then I remembered Luke can also see <laughs> yeah, you. That, that might not work. Good idea. Um... I don't remember it being totally obscene, mm -hmm. um, but it was a, a good amount of work. I don't know, like maybe f uh, 400. 282. That's How many? Way too many. <laughs> 282. 282. Okay. 400. What game are you playing? I think. Arkham Knight is something like 400, isn't it? I think so, Arkham yeah. Knight's a lot. You must yeah, have confused. What's the final gadget you can unlock? <clears throat> the final gadget you can or that you do in, like, the main story? Final gadget you can unlock. What's the last one you can get? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I know which one it is. <laughs> I'm trying to think through the missions in chronological order. Um, it's not the gel. It's not the rope caster for walking across areas. It might be the electric gun thing. Mm -hmm. um, there was also that batarang that you could use to like set off their collars um mm. but i don't remember what that one was called uh <clears throat> I, th I think it oh geez um i'm gonna guess it's the whatever battering thing you throw and it it can remote detonate their collars and like attract them. I don't remember the name of it though. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yeah. I'll go with that. Final the answer. The freeze cluster. Oh, the freeze cluster. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Damn no. 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 Honestly, the... were you going to get that? Were you going to get that? Me? Yeah. I, I just played through that. Oh, game you just played it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You oh. go and you get it at the, uh, the museum from yeah. uh, GCPD officer officers. I do remember doing that. I, I thought that was earlier because you go up against Mr. Freeze pretty early. It's technically the last one you, cause they'll, it's like a side quest. You go and get it. That's how you get the rest of the Riddler trophies. Oh, that's right. That's right. I guess I was stuck thinking like just main story. Who? Anyway. Question four. Okay. Calendar Man will say different things when visiting him on specific days of the year. Mm -hmm. Name three of these days. Three days you visit Calendar Man and he'll give you a specific line of dialogue. So I remember 
changing the date in our Xbox 360 to hear him say different things. I remember changing it. I think it was to Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe New Year's Day. And I believe he has dialogue on Halloween as well. Yep. Final answer. That's three. That's three. Halloween one's super cool too. It's from a long mm -hmm. Halloween. He's like super creepy. What a mm -hmm. cool He's game. Dead. It is so cool. There's so much in that game. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday. I couldn't recite that whole thing, but Solomon Grundy is great. Yeah. Is the next question Solomon Grundy related? <laughs> no, no, no. It would have been funny if it was though. Uh, what's the name of the Harley Quinn DLC? Oh, um, Harley's Revenge. Yep. Oh yes. Harley Quinn's Revenge. It's so short. It's so short. And I was spoilers again. I was all excited because that you can find like the pregnancy stick in yeah. the crit. And so I was hoping that they would do something with like a Joker child. And they just like totally bailed on the idea. And it ends up being so bland and lame. It's just really tragic. They they never nailed the DLC. They got the base games really well, but Rocksteady's never done great with DLC. Anyway, anyway. Halfway through. Who voices Batman? Oh, jeez. Uh... Luke, if you don't know this, I'm going to be really disappointed in you. Uh... Oh, there's no way no. he knows. Um... I can picture him in my head. He's like a tall, blonde dude who has a voice way deeper than you'd think, and his Ooh. face looks like cured leather. Um, oh, my food's here. Think think hard about this. <laughs> think hard. I want to say it's Michael's. Uh, Lucas? I can't. <laughs> Did you say Lil Kiss? <laughs> Lil Kiss? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> like... Oh, geez. Um, I could I could sit here for twenty minutes and try to figure it out. I'll I'll mm -hmm. it's I'll go with Michael Blank. <laughs> Final answer. Uh, it's Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy. I'm oh. so disappointed you did not know. That. Kevin Conroy. Okay. Yeah. You were thinking of Michael Keaton, you fool. No. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. So I'm thinking of Michael Scott. <laughs> Imagine Michael Scott <laughs> is Batman. <laughs> I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I declare. Give me the cure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be oh, great. God. What is the name of the private military company hired by Strange and Sharp that acts as the security detail for Arkham City? Oh. Oh, Jacob just played this. The same. I know. I know. Um, we should have switched because you know all the Five yeah. Nights at Freddy's stuff now. Now, after you went through it all, um, the private security. Oh, Jesus! Do you really not remember? I'm trying. Well, I just played through all the lost, uh, all the Uncharted games. Excuses, so, excuses. Yeah. I'm like, oh. I'll give yeah, you a hint. Like, yeah. It's not Shoreline. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I was. What that's what I was gonna say. I was like, everything is Shoreline <laughs> in my head. I don't remember Nadine meeting with <laughs> Rachel Gould yeah. or anything. <laughs> um, I don't. Ah, oh, Jesus. I don't. Black Reef. Can Final I steal? Answer. You cannot. <laughs> Steal. You cannot no. steal. Can I say well, it just can... to rub it in? <laughs> yeah, go for it. It's Tiger. It is Tiger. It would have been really funny if you got that wrong, too. <laughs> yeah, it would have. <laughs> there was a moment there where I was like, is it Tiger? I was like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> See, it's now, tiger. now that's like, yeah, no, Tiger. But I, yeah, it's been a minute. Where are we at with points? Uh, Currently, Jacob obviously got four and a half. Luke, you're on three. Okay. And you have three questions left. So, okay. you know. Big money. Mm. Big money. If I were to play the side quest, the tea party, 
Batman villain would I meet? Oh. Mad Hatter? Yes. Ah. Ah. Nah, you <laughs> got it. You got it. <laughs> okay, I what need is one. The title of the song that plays during the credits. Song's title. Oh, that plays during the credits. Um. Mm -hmm. I think it might be the one that I get comments on all the time, because I I mistakenly said he was singing to Harley and everyone's like, no, he's singing to Batman. I, yeah. Yeah. Well, now I'm like, yeah, duh, of course he is. But like, That's fake. it's fake news. Um, That's only you so by the good. platters. It is only you. Damn it. Boom. <laughs> Suck it, Jacob. Okay. Ah. I got one more. I got one more. What year was the game released? I believe 2011. Yeah. Okay. You got it. I almost said 10, but then I was like, no, Asylum was 2009. So that wouldn't make sense. 2000. Isn't it amazing they put that together in two years? Oh, it's shocking. It's, and it's incredible. Did you ever play in Asylum? You can go to the warden's office, blow out the fake yeah. wall that you can't see through Detective Vision, and they've got the plans for Arkham City laid out. It's really cool. So smart. So the halfway point, Jacob is on four and a half, and Luke is on five. <laughs> it's neck the and neck, boy. The queen wave, the queen's wave. Hello, love. How are you doing, love? <laughs> Hello. Oh, we just Hello, need you, love. Isn't it? Isn't it, Isn't love? It? What the hell are you doing there, love? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, what do we got? General knowledge. General knowledge. I have set A and set B. Considering Luke is further oh, ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. I've, ne I've never played general knowledge. What game is that? Is that like a war game? Yeah, yeah. You'll pick it up really quickly. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, considering Luke is ahead, Jacob, would you rather have set A or set B? Uh, I'm a bottom, so B. Okay. <laughs> don't laugh. As he <laughs> licks his fingers. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a bottom, bottom. so B. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Question number one. Which actress provided the voice for Mary Jane Watson in Spider-Man 2018, Nadine Ross in Uncharted, and Abby in The Last oh. of Us 2? Oh, I have no idea. I don't give a shit about Sony garbage. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no idea uh, at all. R R Ruth, I know, oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> no, I was going to say, there's a lady named Ruth something or other that uh, did some voice acting. I, I have no clue. Laura Bailey. Oh, uh, I, th I was going to say, we yeah, can't steal gonna, these. We, we can't, can't steal, steal. it. Okay. Damn it. it. <laughs> we just talked uh, about her. Which video game is the only one ever to receive a near perfect 99 score on Metacritic? Ocarina of Time? Yes. Ah, there we go. Well done. Nice. I love that game. Who provides the narration in the first Little Big Planet? That's general knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. first little big planet. Who provides the narration? Uh, what's that dude's name from uh, Evil Dead? Wasn't you him. can't ask for names. <laughs> yeah, we're not <laughs> something. Bruce Campbell. It's Stephen Fry. Ah, oh, praise be, praise be to Stephen the Fry. Lord, it is Stephen Fry. Number four. In Bioshock Infinite, Cagnus Booker DeWitt is given an alias by the residents of Columbia due to the mark on his hand. What is that alias? Oh no, I don't remember. Um <laughs> uh... Shoot, I have no idea. I haven't played Infinite in years. Don't they call him like uh Profit something? Or is that towards the end of the game? 
I don't know. I'm just going to be half a point because I think they do call him a prophet at some point. They call him, well, I don't want to spoil Infinite. That's one that's so crazy. If you It gets real that. trippy by the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, oh, I'm going to go, I'll, no, I'll take well, the half point. Yeah, I'll give you a half point because he does get called that. The one he's given specifically because of the mark on his hand is the False Shepherd. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. You False Shepherd! And then he drills into a guy's head with a funny little, like, toy. Yeah. Yeah. What a game. In 2020, which actor visited a fan's Animal Crossing world to sell his turnips at a better price? Uh, is that also general knowledge? That could have been anyone. I, I uh, kind of get a mixture of questions that are, like, difficult and not too bad and recent and games that I know you've both played, but I believe you can guess this one. I believe Snoop in you, Snoop Dogg. No, I believe in you, Jacob. Oh, okay. Is, is this the one game? where, like, the memes went around and everyone was like, oh, he's so great? I think we talked yeah. about it. Yeah, we is talked about it. Is it T-Pain? T-Pain streams. Is it T-Pain? Is that your final answer, Jacob? That's my final answer. Jacob, it's Elijah Wood. Oh, is it? Your best friend. I do love Elijah Wood, but I don't Not that much, care about obviously. what Elijah Wood does in his spare time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so disappointing. In 1993, an astronaut took a Game Boy on his trip to their MIR space station. What was the first game to ever be played in space? Uh, Tetris, I think. Yes! Yeah! See, how do you know that and you don't know that Elijah Wood? Because <laughs> it's great weird and it's old. I know weird old <laughs> things. I don't, new stuff escapes me, but I, I know weird. I love early Nintendo stuff. In well the Witch 3 DLC, yeah, well done. In the Witch 3 DLC Blood and Wine, Geralt gets his own estate. What's the name of that estate? I have not played Blood and Wine yet. Uh. <laughs> But I'm gonna. I, I think I know wrong, <laughs> wrong I've, I've answer. Heard, I've heard Luke talk about it before, and I believe mm -hmm. uh, mm. the estate is called Tyler Perry's House of Woes. <laughs> Medea you know, does wine. I'm, 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 yeah. Give you a point just I'm, because. Was I close? Yeah, uh, close, <laughs> but no cigar. It's Corvo uh, Bianco. Oh, good. Yeah, that was tip of, my, tip of my tongue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was right there, right there, right there. Yeah, oh, so Cor Cor Corbin Bianco. Cor yep. <laughs> Cor <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is he related to Benny Blanco? No? Oh, okay. Could be. Could be. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the seaside town that the first Life is Strange game takes place in? Oh, Angstville. Uh, let me think. Uh, <laughs> uh, you love this game. Shoot. Oh, God. This one's actually on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> it, oh, it was something so goddamn obvious. Do you remember what state it was in? It's in like, uh, is it in New Hampshire? I thought it was somewhere on the East Coast. I thought it was Oregon. Maybe it's not Oregon. Now I'm questioning. I thought it was Oregon. I know it's a seaside. It could be Oregon because it's one of those top northern coasts. Uh, they all look the same to me. I'm going to go with... Okay, it is Oregon. Okay, I'm not crazy. I'm going to go with... Uh... Sandy Acres. <laughs> <laughs> San Diego. Uh, it's Arcadia Bay. Oh, good. In yeah, Oregon. <laughs> oh, good. Mm, yes. Got the state. Cyberpunk names many of its missions after famous songs. What's the name of the mission that leads to the secret ending? Thank you for the quotes. I appreciated that. Oh, it's not secret. shoot. It's not new. Oh. You edited this video, Jacob. You must have seen it. Dig, I did, dig, but that ending is so forgettable and world. stupid. Well, yeah. 
Oh, and it was named after a song. Well, that They're game is... They're all named after great songs. This one's ah. also a great song. And it's it's accurately titled. I'm giving you so many hints here. Because I pity your score right now. So, come on. I'm not sure. I think it was like... Uh... She, she said it's accurately named, so it must be something like total waste of fucking time. Yeah, it was complete <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Is it, I'm going to take a wild guess. I'm going to say, uh, let's go with some classic ACDC. Is it Highway to Hell? Don't Fear the Reaper. Oh, that's not relevant. What? It's relevant because it don't fear death. Like they go in and have an all guns blazing fight. Yeah, it's oh. like. Well, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they put a lot of thought into the name of the mission that's not fun. Yeah. I'm glad they, I'm oh, glad yeah. they did that. Final question for you, Jacob. What's the best selling video game of all time? Uh, is that counting bundles? That's a bit of a loaded yeah, they, question. I, I know where Jacob's going with that. I guess technically, yeah. it could technically be Tetris because they lump it in with a bunch of stuff. I tell you. When I googled this, it was the number one thing on Wikipedia. It was the one that Wikipedia said was the most... If it's the number one thing on Wikipedia, I'm going with Tetris. I would have guessed. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. I would have guessed Wii Sports. Wii Sports, well, it was bundled with consoles, so if you're... Yeah, but it, most counts of, like, most units... Well, plus I mean, with Tetris, are we counting all iterations of Tetris across all consoles, or? Well, that, I think that. Yeah. Selling video game. And it's the number one ranked on Wikipedia. And it sales a hell of a lot more than second place. Third place, fourth place. Then I think it has to be because Wii Sports could have sold a hundred million, but Tetris at this point has sold over mm. like two hundred. So I'm going with Tetris. Final answer. Final answer. How about I tell you the top five? Make Hit it dramatic. Okay. So number five is PUBG. That okay. is depressing. Mm. Number four is Wii Sports. Ooh. Oh. Number three is Tetris. Uh oh. Uh oh. Number two is Grand Theft Auto Five. Okay. Number one. Minesweeper. Is Minecraft. Is Minecraft. Minecraft. Uh, okay. Is Minecraft. Yeah. They have sold ridiculous numbers. That is true. Now it's available yeah. on Game Pass. Yeah. For the All low, right, well, low good price. Luck, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> How many? Okay, what's his final score? Your final score is seven. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, that's that's not too bad because I didn't remember a whole lot of the FNAF stuff and. Seven out of twenty. Yeah, I mean yeah. these questions are not super easy. I was yeah. I was expecting you to get like the more right at all. So. Well, good. Proud of you. She's like all I right. didn't expect more. I expected yeah. just what you did. Well, Luke, you got to put me to shame now. You got 10 big... And I took I took Witcher and Cyberpunk questions and a Sony-related question from you. So you might be getting mm. some weird retro questions. Who knows? Yeah, I, mi I made sure to mix the sets so that no one would have an advantage in either We'll set, see. So. We'll see. I'm scared now. Okay. So Let's Luke, try it. You can draw three to win. You have 10 questions. Question number one, Henry Cavill nearly missed the call, confirming he booked the role of Superman because he was playing which game? Um, I remember him talking extensively about painting Warhammer characters. Mm -hmm. But... I don't remember if he was doing that or if he was playing an actual video game. I will guess if he were playing a video game, he was probably playing some big MMO. Might have been around the time WoW Classic. I'll guess World of Warcraft. Final answer. 
It is World of Warcraft. Oh, hey, well done. Check it out. What a sharp boy. I remember that Warhammer thing too. I wasn't. I had no idea what yeah. World of Warcraft. Tattoos are a big part of the Yakuza series. Oh God. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> this Cammy trivia. And yeah. Now, yeah. This is my way of getting revenge. What tattoo does what does protagonist Kiru have tattooed on his back? A koi fish. It's a dragon. I was get okay. I you was didn't gonna guess dragon. I thought it was you too obvious. Idiot. Oh, so you guessed koi fish? You racist. It's My normal God. and traditional <laughs> Japanese tattooing. Okay, I watched a lot of Ink Master. If you're gonna be racist, oh, be Ink specifically Master, racist. The top tier of all tattoo mm -hmm. programs ever. Yes, he's got right? There's that, that more box more art is him with like the thing and a dragon on his back. I, I thought don't know. it was a really obvious one. It, it could yeah. be a, I thought it was too obvious. So what I faked wrong? myself out. In Death Stranding, what's the name of the rain that occurs around BTs? Timefall. <laughs> yes. It's the stink, Luke. It's not time. <laughs> oh, it's the goo. The stink is coming. <laughs> Get out of the stink. Hurry. You have seven questions left, and you're currently drawing with Jacob. So you need one more. I can one fail all of these and not lose. Yeah. Okay. Big money. How many Korok seeds are there left to are there to collect in Breath of the Wild? How many Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild? I know it's it's in the nine hundreds. Uh, as f it might be nine hundred exactly. Now that I say it out loud, uh, I'll go with nine hundred. Final answer. Nine hundred. Ooh! Hey, well <laughs> the big brain boy. He's a big brain boy. Now you're just playing to show off. Really, you've already won. So it's just. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, how YouTuber, much you want to so. rub it? In your <laughs> In the game Nino Kuni, developers level five worked with which studio to create the art style and the animated sequences? Who has stuff that looks even slightly similar to that? Uh, I don't. I've never played Nino Kuni. Um, I think my buddy Corey has, really and they're pr they're pretty cute. Like they're cutesy. Who makes cute games? I can just think of Nintendo. So I'll say Nintendo. It's Studio Ghibli. Oh. Oh. Did you, did you not know that, Jacob? No, I don't even know what Nino... I've heard of Nino Kuni before, but I've never played it. I got huh. no clue. Need to look into Nino Kuni. I'm They're so big good. games. There's a lot. Yeah. They're real good. <clears throat> Sony's head of worldwide game development found a game so difficult he had to email the developers for tips. What's the game? I th so I think I remember seeing an article where uh is it Shiho Yoshida? Is that his name? Um he played Demon Souls and absolutely hated it. And thought it was insulting and awful. Uh, that's the only game I can remember being discussed with like executives having a ton of trouble with it. So I'll say Demon Souls. Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was Demon Souls also. Yeah, you had to email the developers every time he was stuck. Most people would just go on the internet. You just email the developers. Like, Can you imagine doing, doing that? Like... I'm yeah. stuck on this. Let me call oh, get a taco. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get me a sock on the phone. Uh, yeah, good one. Huh. What's the name of the grandmother in Resi 7? Oh, um... Stinky, isn't it? <laughs> Funny thing, out of all these questions, seven of the answers are stinky. <laughs> I would have done so well if I had just... Said stinky for every answer. Just, uh, yeah. Mar Marguerite, Marjorie, Marguerite. It's Evelyn. 
Evelyn, wait. You're thinking, you're thinking of the mum. The grandma is Evelyn. Oh, is I, I totally, I totally heard. Okay, yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. My oopsie. 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 In Horizon Zero Dawn, what is the name of the AI system created by Elizabeth Sobek? <clears throat> the name of the AI system. Uh, Gaia? Yes. Really showing you up here, Jacob. <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> he got chicken. It's He's good. Go. I, got, I got my chicken. It's all good. Yeah, it's all fine. The Rockstar game Bully has a different name over here in jolly old England. What is it called? Oh, really? Uh, oh, I remember meant. Oh, Jesus. Um, See, I always call it Bully for you Americans. But it's not actually what it's called over here. Is it just called like Boris Johnson or something? Yeah. No. Uh, Pet. <laughs> uh, I really don't know. It might just be named after the school, but I can't think. I don't remember what the name of the school is. You don't um, remember what the name of the school in Bully is? I'm blanking on it. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I don't know. Luke, they were going against the controversial name Bully, and they named the game Kid how did you not? How did you not remember that? How, it's Bullworth Academy is the name of the school. I don't know what they call it in uh, England. I think they called it just. Uh, um, you have a guess. You guess. Go ahead. Me guess. Yeah. Uh, we would give it a different name. What would it be? It's like uh, Smackers. Call them Smacky. Smacky. No, it's uh, it's Canis Canamedit. Oh, that's right. They did the, the Latin thing. They did Latin for dog eats dog. Canis canum edit. Because they didn't is... want to sell it as bully and have it the bad reception. Is the right, game, then, yeah. <laughs> like, is bully a cult classic in England? I don't know. I don't talk to people. Touche. All right, fair enough. Okay, wait, yeah. what the hell? I just, I Googled bully in England. Mm. To try and see, I, I don't know, I was just trying to find a copy of the Are game. It's, no, I just did it right now because I didn't know what it was called. But uh, um, I just Googled it to see like what the box art looks like to see if they changed that. And for some reason, when I Google bully in England, look what it pulls up. It just pulls up a Google translate from English to Turkish for bully. <laughs> so huh. to, yeah. I think that's an I. The more Maybe. you know. That's odd. That is odd. Bully the game. Did they change the box art? No, not really. Yeah. Well, you know, banner instead of just the name and then. Huh. Who knew? Huh. Who knew? I knew that. The more you know. <laughs> Final question. Okay. What's the highest grossing video game film? Ooh. Ooh. Highest grossing video game film. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I doubt it was any of those, those, uh, blizzard ones. I don't think it was. Mortal Kombat. I don't think it was Monster Hunter. Those are all relatively recent. I think I know what this. I I would guess Sonic. That's my final answer. Sonic. Right, you guessed incorrectly. Jacob, do you want? It just guess? felt. Oh God! It just is it Rampage with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. It's Warcraft. Ah. It is Warcraft. It is Warcraft. I know. I was shocked. How much did they make? Do you have the numbers? I'll find the numbers right now. Uh, top grossing video game movies. 
The answer is a lot. Rampage is number three. Yeah, I was going to say, Dwayne The Rock Johnson made a huge deal about how much money the movie made. Oh, so maybe I was thinking... I'm confused. Because I just googled top grossing video game movies, and it has Sonic at number one. But, Luke, but is that, that doesn't really look... global. Well, it might not be, because this doesn't look like very much for a major release. Oh, I forgot about Detective Pikachu. Mm. Yeah, it did okay. Not a good Dead movie, off. though. Yeah, this one, worldwide box yeah. office. So this was just ranking, like, domestic. Detective Pikachu at number two. Rampage at number three. Angry Birds the movie. That doesn't count. Fuck you. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Yeah, that was huge when it came Wait, out. Wait, what did I just do? Stop it. Go back. Stop it. Go back. Stop it. Stop it. We're back. Uh, yeah. We're back. Yeah. So, I mean, Monster Hunter is actually number 34 with the 1997 Mortal Kombat Annihilation in 33. Huh. huh? That's crazy. More, more you know. Luke, your grand total was nine points. Hey. Hey, I'll You're take it. And the superior brother. <laughs> Categorically, I'm the better brother, Jacob. I all right. The, the quiz doesn't lie. I Jacob guess looks not. really I guess upset. I, I am. Yeah. It's not too. All I, I've learned something valuable about this uh, with this whole situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, I don't really I don't really uh, I, don't, I don't really like Sony stuff that much. I didn't know any of the Sony stuff. I had no idea about any of it. You know what that means. You need to play more Sony stuff. Does it? Does yes. it? I think so. Because I played Horizon Zero Dawn. I didn't remember the thing was called ABBA or whatever, but I remember <laughs> the people looking funny. <laughs> and I remember the animals in it. And I didn't remember Stephen Fry was in Little Big Planet, but I remember that game feeling like shit to play. You don't pay attention. Oh Well, yeah, that's fair. I haven't played Horizon in a while, too. I'm glad we cut to a single for that. Yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> my yeah, finger my boy. finger slipped and <laughs> I ended up with Jacob just sitting there. Close up. That was great close fun. Close up. Close up. Close up. Close up. Close up. Close up. Uh, we have the technology now, guys, to try and make this more interesting so we're not just yeah. floating heads. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I had good fun. Thank you for uh, organizing the questions, Cammy. What we need to do, yeah. I think, is to do a a like championship round where Jacob comes up with the questions and Cammy and oh. I go head to head. In fact, live here on this episode, why don't you two pick your uh, subjects and I'll start putting some questions together for next week. All oh, oh. okay. Something, okay, so uh, a, are we picking a specific game or like a franchise? I'll allow you to pick a franchise. Okay. We can still pick one specific one if we want, though. Uh, it depends. If the other person picks a franchise, you have to pick a franchise, too. Okay, what I'll do... I will pick... <laughs> <laughs> what if... Wait, what if we do the same franchise? What if we that have the same fun. topic and then we shuffle questions? And what yeah. if, here's my challenge, since I know you're playing through these, hey. what if we do The Last of Us? Both I games. Love that Both idea. Game. Okay. Including lore, gameplay, locations in the games. Okay. I would say include the show, but we can't really do that yet. Um, but both games, production trivia. Yeah. DLC, yeah, left behind as well. I think we oh, could cool. forego the multiplayer. Like, we don't need to know what the modes yeah, of the multiplayer are. But, like, I'm down for that. I can put that together. It, doing general <laughs> knowledge as well? Uh, no, fuck that category. That <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's like, I was scarred by that category. That. that just made me realize, it's like, oh, okay. 
It's just like if you don't know what the game is or you haven't played it, it's just like, oh, all right. But if you know what the thing is, it's fun when it's when you when you've played through it and you're like, it's in your brain and you're like, holy crap, what the hell is that thing? You can have a, a last of us off. Who is the last of us? Yeah. Hey, there we go. I'm down. Tune like in that. next week for Last of Us Trivia here on It's the Lag, where Luke and Cammy compete to the death. I'm okay with that. I will kill one of them. I'm pretty confident, so we'll see. You're all stronger, but I think I'm more bloodthirsty. She does. She's got that British thing. All they drink is tea and eat Blood. biscuits. All I'm saying, okay, all I'm saying Jack the Ripper was mm -hmm. British. Oh, we have they, great syrup. They never, they never caught him either. Cereal and Cammy, Cammy still stuff. lives there. So, am I saying they're the same person? Maybe. I've seen in the same room. Yeah. Friends call me Jackie. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>